been thinking a lot about states of matter lately. And uh, you know, we all learned that there's solid, liquid, and gas. Hey, we can see it right here, right? There's that solid lava and the trees and the sand on the bottom and the coconut that somebody drank. And there's liquid, that's the, the ocean water, and there's gas, the, the air that we can't really see, but the clouds, the sky, and that's, that must be gas, right? You know? But there's actually a lot more to it than that. There's, there's plasma. Hey, there's, you know, the, the fluid inside those trees is plasma, like there's blood plasma in our arteries and veins and capillaries, cytoplasm in our cells, and there's plasma in the in intracellular, extracellular fluid. Hmm. the spinal fluid, that's a plasma. Then the ocean water is a plasma. It's conductive for electricity, energy. And, uh, okay. There's other states of matter too. States that do matter. Spirit matters. That's a different state of matter. And it is matter, but you can't see it. You can't touch it, feel it. It's a non-ordinary state of matter. You know, in physics, as a condensate, in modern alchemy, we have lots of different names, but uh, monatomic minerals. Orms is the patented name, orbitally rearranged monatomic elements, patented in 1989. David Hudson led the British patent on that. The United States reviewed his patent application, said yes, it's patent worthy, but we already have know this information, we're just keeping it secret and we use it in our black operations for like faster than light space travel and well they won't tell you. But they isn't probably you know that that's one of the things. So it's uh, there's more than meets the eye. And these different states of matter are so important for understanding health and healing and life. We'll talk more about it.